Hi, welcome. This is a presentation uh, I'm going to be doing uh, in Revit Architecture showing how to do a walkthrough of a building. What this building is, is a two-story residential structure. And what I'm going to be doing with my walkthrough is I'm going to start from the outside of the house, go in the front door, take a look at a couple of rooms on the first floor of the house, then move on uh, through the house, through the back door, and then go back and take a turn around and take a look at the house before we conclude it. The way a walkthrough works is what we're going to be doing is we're going to be defining a path and on that path are going to be camera angles and it's going to blend from one camera angle to another as we go down that path. So we define the path and we define the camera locations and the camera angles. All the cameras are going to be at the same uh, elevation, I believe it's 5 feet 6 inches as we walk through and uh, that could be changed later on a per camera basis if you if you wanted to do that. So the way you get started on is you go to your uh, tab, your uh, ribbon tabs, and go to the view tab, go to the 3D views and part of the create palette, and we've already done a default 3D view, and we have already done the, the camera, but what we want to do is the walkthrough. And what you have, what it starts you with is a cursor. So you want to start, you want to make sure that before you do this, that you are on a floor plan. First floor or second floor, whichever floor you want to do. Probably not the site plan, just because the site plan shows uh, the building from the exterior of the house. And it won't show you any details of the floors unless you actually erase something or hide something. So let's go ahead and do this. What we have is a cursor here on one of our uh, plan views, this being the first floor plan, which is what we're going to be doing our walkthrough on. And uh, the first time you place it, it actually begins to set a path. Right now it's just a straight line. The, the lines coming off that line at the cursor position right now is where the camera is going to be. So wherever we plant our cursor the second time here is going to be not only the camera position but the angle of the camera and what it's going to be looking at. So what I want to do is I want to click it a second time and I want to take a look at my curtain wall in front of my house in the north part of the house. So I'm going to click it a couple more times, take a look at the curtain wall a little bit closer and then I'm going to move off to the side and quickly go to the front of the house and kind of go down the side of the house a little bit. Then you're going to turn around and go down this side of the house and eventually go on the front door. So as I go through the front door, I'm going to go in front of the stairs and kind of take a look at the stairs and then move away from the stairs. Go through the door from the mudroom into the dining room. Swing around through the dining room and go through some of these rooms in the front of the house. Slave it as a den, but right now I have a bed in the den. And then come out here. What you want to make sure you're doing when you're going through your house is you want to make sure you're going through doors and not through walls. Put a little bit of uh, effort and uh, thought into how you're going to be routing your camera positions and your walkthrough as you go through. So you can take a look at this side of the house, swing around, and then finish over here taking a look inside that window. When you're all done, go back up to the ribbon, click on the finish walkthrough button up here, the green check mark, and you are all done. What you want to do at this point, and you notice if you go down to Project Browser, you now have a new entry in here. I already did a walkthrough one, but this is a walkthrough two. But what our new category in our Project Browser is walkthroughs. We have renderings. If you've done renderings by now, then now we have walkthroughs. So this one I just did is walkthrough number two. If I click on that, it shows me where I'm starting with uh, my walkthrough. Actually, where I just ended with my walkthrough, it always shows you where the last camera angle is. I'm going to go ahead and stretch that out a little bit as one of the editing functions and kind of show a little bit more. I also want to kind of click on the realistic view so it looks a little bit better. So it looks a little bit more real as we're going through instead of just the, the default setting that we had which was the hidden line setting. At this point we're going to go ahead and edit that walkthrough. So if you click on walkthrough down here it should give us uh, some editing functions. If you go back to the first floor and uh, right click on walkthrough 2 and show the camera, that shows our walkthrough. That's another way of selecting it. But once you uh, select on walkthrough that way, either through the first floor or just clicking on walkthrough, you should get this button up here on the tab on the ribbon called Edit Walkthrough. And that's our next step. So we're at the actual very end of our walkthrough. Uh, we're in frame 300 to 300. We didn't click the mouse 300 times. We only clicked it probably about 30 times. But there are 300 frames in our, our film. So what we want to do is we want to go to frame number 1. So we're going to go up here to the options menu. Or the options bar. Instead of 300, we're going to type in 1. 
and no if you get that uh, dialog box you don't want to edit your walkthrough I'm going to go ahead and change my camera angle one more time maybe include a little bit more of the house and no we don't want to finish the editing of the walkthrough at least not yet but once you're here now you can go ahead and uh, if you go back to edit walkthrough you have to make sure if you have these green tags showing that uh, you go back up there that's the way you go back to uh, some of these functions that are still active we're going to go to play and just to see what we have, we need to make modifications if we could do so after this. So we're going to go to the play button and take a look at what we're going through here. Now the frames are going through pretty fast here. So we're going to go around the front of the house, kind of take a look at the front of the house, swing around, take a look at it from the other direction, and then we're going to go through our front door, take a look up the stairs, go through the dining room area a little bit, kind of narrow for the dining room. That's one advantage of doing a walkthrough is you get to see what the house looks like and if you need to make modifications you can do so. One of the bedrooms or the bed there you can see that the floor is flashing that means I have two floors there. I'd probably like to get rid of one of them. I think one's a concrete floor the other one's a concrete with the vinyl on top of it so this is a good uh, indication that I have something wrong there. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. So that looks uh, that looks pretty good to me. But there is one thing I want to do. I want to be able to slow the frames down so I'm going to make one more edit before I get done with this. By clicking that 300 I'm going to change that 300 frames to 600 frames, and what it's going to do is it's going to slow it down. So it's going to be doing 600 frames in the same amount of time, so it's going to be going about half the speed. Uh, somewhere between 500 and 1000 is probably okay. You don't want your walkthrough to take too long. So press OK. And then let's just uh, check that again. Let's go back to play and see how that's working. That's, uh, yeah, it's a lot slower. It's a lot, a lot easier to follow, and it kind of resembles the way a person would be walking anyways. So I'll get around the front of the house, taking a look at some of the landscaping we have. Some of the windows that define uh, that part of the house. You can see that bed in the kitchen, which doesn't belong there, but we'll get that changed. And then as we swing around to the front of the house, we're going to go in the front door. You can see the wall that was created when we did the building uh, uh, pad option on our site plan. Probably need to get a patio out there, and that could be done by simply putting in a floor out there, out, out there in the front. So we're going to go into the living room area. There's a couple doors in here. This is a, a bedroom, perhaps, or a den. We're going to go inside of there. There's a bed in there. Kind of a tight bedroom, too, so we might want to make that a little bit bigger. Going back through the house, again, the flashing floor. We need to get rid of one of those floors. If you have that, you need to do that, too. Then out the back door. Return right out the back door and take a look at the front of the house. And then we're going to look at the, the back of the house and then it will be done. So there's one more thing we need to do with our walkthrough to save this walkthrough if you want to show this as a video. Right now it's embedded in your Revit project but what we'd like to do is save this as an AVI file so the way you do that and yes we want to, we want to quit editing the walkthrough this gives us the opportunity to actually save the project or save this as an AVI file so we're going to go to yes. So we're out of that and now we need to go to the application menu where the big R is. We're going to take that application menu, pull that down, and we're going to go to export. So we're going to export images and animations and our walkthrough. So you'll notice that we're still in a project browser. We still have our walkthrough to selected. So you need to do that first. If it doesn't highlight, you do have to select a walkthrough in order to do that. So I'm not going to save the project. Well, okay, I'll save the project. It'll only take a moment. And then it's going to go through these options. So I'm going to pick, uh, just keep all my default settings. If you want to play around with these, you can. And I'm going to go to OK. And the next frame is going to be where I wanted to save to. So I'm on my desktop. I'm going to go to my flash copy. This is going to be my prep folder for week number six. And it looks like it's adequately uh, described here as what I call the house. So. So house for exam one, walkthrough number two, and go to save, and it's going to save it as an AVI file. Now the other, all the other file extensions that it gives you are JPEG, so you don't want to select those. So make sure you stick with the default setting of AVI, and go to save, and that should be done. One more, one more option over here. Uh, just uh, s uh, select the default settings, and you should be okay. Now what it does, before we leave here, is it's going to be going through this frame by frame. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video before it gets done as it compiles the video. 
And so this probably takes about 10 or 15 minutes, so you have to be patient about this. Okay, thanks for watching. We will talk to you soon.